Assiniboine, if that's the correct, correct pronunciation. How did they get that name? Uh, the name of the mountain dates back to 1885, um, which was when it was first seen by um, a surveying scientist by the name of George Dawson, who was from Nova Scotia. Um, he saw a Cinnabon for the first time from the summit of Copper Mountain, which is 25 miles further north. Mm -hmm. um, and when he was there, um, he observed its resemblance to the teepees of an Indian tribe. He knew it was the Assiniboines. Yeah, okay. Now the term Assiniboine itself um, is derived from an old Ojibwe word, um, Assiniboine, mm -hmm. which means stone soup. The tribe got that name mm -hmm. because of a method they used for cooking, uh, where they would place heated stones into rawhide containers of water, and from that they would make a broth. Um, later on, uh, the early white explorers uh, call them the Stonies. From where we were at Thinibine Lodge, it looked like there was still a lot of snow on the approaches. Mm -hmm. um, and it also turned out that nobody else had climbed the mountain so far in 2007. Uh -huh. So if we were going to be, if we were going to get to the summit, we were, we were going to be the first team yeah. to climb the summit in 2007. Yeah. So we had no information about what the approaches were going to be like, uh, yes, but it looked yes. like there was a lot of snow on them. It was warm, so we were certainly concerned about the condition and stability of that snow. Mm -hmm. um, we were also concerned about the problem of uh, stonefall on the head wall around yeah. uh, the head of, head of Lake Magog. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, um, Seth Brenner, um, who's a chap who runs the Sydney Point Lodge, yes. uh, he's also a mountain guy, he's climbed the Sydney Point 47 times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is quite an quite incredible achievement. Yeah. Um, it is. But he, he, he assured us that if we could get to the hind hut, mm -hmm. then he was pretty sure that we would get to the summit of the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the task was to get to make sure that we got to the hind hut. Yeah. We're all on a bloody diet because we've forgotten to bring two pastas with us. <laughs> it's okay, Jim. We'll start eating you in about five o'clock, Rob. <laughs> I just use the flour and stuff at home, you know? Mm hmm. And throw in honey and have a banana with it, you know? Wait, Jerry.
And then we can cross over yeah. it at its narrowest yeah. bit. In fact, we came, we came to the right of that big snowfield, mm. didn't we? Mm. But we were thinking of going to the left. Yeah. Glad I didn't have to put crampons on again. No. Oh. privilege 
of climbing an absolutely magnificent and spiritual mountain. Um, we had it to ourselves. We had perfect weather for it. And I'll never forget it. Yeah. It was just really, really special. Uh, five, a five day expedition. Um, it was hard work, particularly the walk in and the walk out. Yeah. But it was worth every drop of sweat that was, mm -hmm. that was spent and every breath that was taken to get in there. Yeah. It was absolutely yeah. magnificent.